Mindful eating has been such a struggle for me in the past because I was so rigid on getting my numbers right for protein, fats, and carbs because I didn't want to gain weight at all. I was so scared of it. But I, I just hate to see people so stuck to their numbers and so stuck to getting those exact numbers where in reality, if you're just living a healthy lifestyle, like just think about the foods that really fuel your body and that provide you with nutrients and energy and go towards your progress. If you're thinking something might be going away from your progress, that's when you might want to be a little more mindful of the portion of it. You might want it to be a smaller portion because you know that it's like extremely high calorie and it might not be filled with um, the, the best nutrients you have. So it has been a struggle for me for years and I finally mastered it and I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I think it's such a life-changing skill to have just to eat mindfully and be healthy and still enjoy the foods that you love. are a really good source of carbs and protein so I had a high protein and a decent amount of carbs for that meal um, so I generally have an idea of what I've eaten so far so now that I've had my snack of an apple and a tablespoon of almond butter that I know is some carbs a little bit of fat and so I definitely need to get some protein in so for dinner, I'm going out and I know that I want to order a protein and some veggies and I don't really want to worry about getting carbs because I want to have that piece of bread. So if there's a dish that might be like some chicken with rice and veggies, just ask for double veggie and no rice and that way you can still have the bread. That is my day of mindful eating. It is finally easy for me. I struggled with it for so long, like I said, and I really aim to teach people that you can still be healthy and live a healthy life as long as you just make good choices. So thank you so much for watching. Be a good soul.